Hello friends and welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei. Now, uh, at the end of the last video I pitifully died to some nasty brownie demons. And um, now, well, yes, um, now I have done some off-screen leveling to get to the point I was and some things. I had a bit more luck this time. The actually got to level 4. I didn't want to do that, but uh, I got to level 4, so that is great. I put that point into vitality and I actually found a lifestone because one of the demons dropped it. So uh, yeah, that is that. So now, now I think we are pretty much ready to, uh, to go along with the story and to uh, yeah, to see the next story bit, and for that we need to walk down here. In Inokashira Park. You must be Kazuya. Yes, yes, I see, yes. You are quite special indeed. Maybe you don't see it now, but it is quite possible that one day you will wield power beyond your wildest imagination. Light and darkness, law and chaos, the delicate balance that this world rides on is beginning to tip. While the forces of law and chaos that are in motion now are still weak, there will come a time soon where they shall gain power and momentum, vying for supremacy over each other. However, it matters not on which side the weight falls, either way the result will be the same, the scale unbalanced. If you were in charge, which, if either, would you choose? Be mindful. No matter which path you take, there's no turning back once you, the decision, has been made. Yeah, that's kind of a translation blunder there, that happens. Why don't you show me what you're capable of for the time being? And now we are somewhere. Now what's going on? Dreaming in the middle of the afternoon? Oh, yeah, now I'm really losing it. So there are homies. And uh, I'm not in control right now. This just hap again happens automatically. Yes, okay. And more staircases. All of the staircases. Kazuya, no! It's dangerous ahead. Don't any of you go a step further. I know I can't stop you, but if you die, what will I do? In the terminal, okay. A suspicious man is conducting some sort of ceremony. My brethren, come forth from the depth, depth of the abyss. Huh? What are you doing here? As you have seen our ceremony, I cannot allow you to leave this place alive. And kind of a weird thing, and now he has become a nasty big monster. Okay, let's just try and fight him. So Kazuya, he has a gun, I think, and you also have a gun. So let's just do that. Shibobo! Takeshi's movement was bound. Mm. Yuji's gun blazed, 4 damage. Kazuya slashed, 4 damage. What? What happened just now? Indeed, it would seem that you are not ready as of yet. Hmm, that was kind of weird. Actually, um, I th think when I played it before, he yanked uh, he yanked me out later, and uh, it's after this demon has just killed half of my party because he's pretty strong. He does like one hit, thirty damage or something. So, uh, indeed, it would seem that you are not ready as of yet. If fate so decrees, you shall meet that one again. Ready yourself before you rush ahead. Okay, I will. Okay, now we are back outside again. Um. So yeah, and we are alone again, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. So, let's head back home, because um, we have done everything for the moment. Except killing 
Another ghost, apparently. Let's talk to the ghost and see what's going on. Let's be threatening. It's ignoring you. Let's approach it. Stop! And it ran away. Huh, that was a bit of a wuss, this ghost. Let's head back home. <gasps> hey you, hold it, you're Kazuya. <laughs> you are under arrest for murder. We found your bloody fingerprints at the scene. Your sick little puppy tearing out that guy's throat like that. Restrain and handcuff him, boys. No, but it was a demon. <laughs> yeah, right, a demon. But the demons are running around all over the streets, so they prob probably know. But why are we framed for the murder? That's kind of weird, isn't it? So, hmm. Okay, so now we have been framed for murder and are in jail. So this has gone to shit pretty quickly. Get in there. Hmm. Huh. The bars won't budge. Okay, we can't go out that way. You can hear sounds from the room to the right. Oh, well, okay. Let's just go to the back of the room and there is a young man. They caught you too? Wait a minute. You are your cousin, aren't you? That wasn't just a dream then. I'm Yuji, do you remember me? Kazuya, you won't believe what happened to me. My girlfriend just sort of disappeared. While looking for her, I was attacked by demons. And when I killed them, the police arrested me. I need to find her. I'm worried about her. So the police kind of seems to be weird, don't they? They are kind of in cahoots with the demons, apparently. Or something. That is kind of... I don't know. Will you help me look for her? Yes, I will. Really? Thank you. Yuji joined your party. My girlfriend's name is Yuka. Uh-huh. So she is... Yeah, okay. The girl next door. Huh? You live next door to her? Wow, that is a co coincidence. Anyhow, let's try and think of a way to bust out of here. You can hear sounds from the room to the right. Okay. Employee. Time for your surgery. Come on out. All of a sudden, Yuji rushed the employee. <laughs> Come on, now's our chance. Let's go. And now we are out of the prison and this is basically the first dungeon. So the first thing we will do is actually try and take a look around and see... Take a look at the layout of this area. It's a knocker. So yeah, there are going to be enemies here and we are going to fight them. So there are demons in jail. Hmm, weird. Let's fight this knocker. Sword. We're going to use a gun and see how this goes. We have to... Yuji is still level 1, so uh, we have to get him up as soon as possible. ASAP. Well, that will be quick. 14 XP, 14 XP, and he leveled up. Let's put her that point into magic, yes. 64 worth of cash, that is nice. Um, so we can actually take a look at our auto mapping. And see, it works just like that. It fills in automatically. That's pretty awesome. The one problem with the auto mapping is that you always have to go through these menus to go to the map. I think they fixed that in the second game, Shin Megami Tensei 2, where they just bound it to one button. That's especially stupid because um, most of the buttons on the Super Nintendo controller are not in use. Like um, the Y and X buttons are not in use at all. So they could have just bound the map to that, but they didn't. Oh well. Okay, let's walk in here and see who's in there. Why did I get brought to a hospital after getting arrested? Isn't the police station more the norm? Okay, so we are not in a jail. We are in the hospital. Where the dude is apparently making... conducting some experiments. So this gets more sketchy by the minute. Let's walk in here. Man in wheelchair. I see you got that computer program I wrote. Has it been useful for you? A long time ago I was walking... Oh, not walking. I was working on a teleportation device. A network of terminal systems that... 
of terminal systems that would allow the user to instantly transport him or herself from terminal to terminal. And as we know from all kinds of science fiction and from Doom, for example, this is never a good idea. Don't do that. Don't do teleportation experiments because you will open a door to hell apparently. But in the middle of one of my experiments I accidentally opened a portal to the abyss and summoned a demon. The demon seems seemed like he was trying to communicate with me, but I couldn't understand it. And it eventually became hostile and attacked me. I managed to defeat it, but not without sustaining terrible wounds first. The experience motivated me to develop a computer program that would allow people to speak with and befriend the demons, making them into minions. Thus I wrote the demon summoning program. After learning that the terminals were connected with the abyss, a man named Goto began, began to summon and attempt to control them. Knowing that the demons would be coming in large numbers, I sent my demon summoning program to as many people as I could. By increasing the number of people that have the ability to control demons, I was hoping to balance things out and keep any potential demonic revolts from getting totally out of control. Unfortunately, the pr program itself is harder to master than I had hoped, and very few people were able to become full-fledged summoners. But we are. Do you understand me? Yes, I do. Very well. Then I shall give you this program to assist you. It is designed to capture and analyze data. It will scan and analyze any demons that you should meet. So every demon has a status screen, just like we have with all the stats and all the kind of jazz. And um, now we can take a look at that if we have killed them before. Into your computer's memory so that you can refer to it whenever you need to. So the Devil Analyze program. Okay, if there's anything I can do to help you, please come back here and see me. Okay, we will do that. And we are going to save our game. This first dungeon is actually kind of easy. Because um, now that we have Yuji in the party... Oh god, I just skipped that. Why did I do that? So, I'm going to talk about that. Um, yes, now that we have Yuji in the party, we can kill demons much more easily because we do a lot more damage. Also, he can heal us. And uh, yeah, and also we can always go back to Steven here and save the game and get healed in the process. So we will actually spend a bit of time here walking around, collecting experience, collecting magnetite, collecting demons. So we wa actually want to find our first minion here. Hopefully we will be able to do that. So let's just um, take a look at the rest of this floor and map it all out, shall we? This is actually going to be always going to be the first thing we will do when we come to a certain location or a dungeon. We will try to map it out first and then see what we can do. The hospital director is conducting experiments to try and create invincible super soldiers. That's always also a bad idea. Why are they doing that? It's only a matter of time before I become his next guinea pig. Yeah, maybe it is. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just walk around. And it's another knocker. Let's talk to him. We will be threatening. You wanna fight? Don't even try it. I know a bluff when I see it. Knocker is taunting you. Um, accept the challenge. Kill him. Okay, well, that didn't work out. And let's just murder this thing. Won't be too much of a problem. Hopefully Yuji will be close to leveling up again. Shibaboo! Our movement has been bound, so that's not great. 14 experience points, 14 experience points. And some cash. <coughs> Kazuya's movement is still bound. That's not that's not good. No. That means we can't fight at the moment. Huh, I don't like that. Let's just use a gun and see how this goes. Now we are unbound. That is great. Okay. And killed them. Or killed him. And Yuji has leveled up again. Let's put that again into magic. 
we want him to become a master magician. Gucci is going to be a wizard. A lizard wizard. Oh, fairy pixie, and they assaulted us immediately, huh? But we avoided the attacks. That is great, let's just kill them then. They don't seem to be very talkative. Okay. 32 XP and a bit of cash and we found an aquamarine. Okay. So those gems are also pretty important because demons oftentimes want them. Um, if you ask them to join you. So yeah. The auto lock is activated and the door won't open. So yeah, that was in the thing that I skipped earlier. There's an auto lock at the door and we can't get out. We have to go up to the office of the big hospital boss guy and uh, yeah and pull the switch there and then we can get out and of course there's going to be a boss fight there. Of course. Let's just... there were the stairs we can go up there and there will be the boss and we can walk around a bit more and try to kill enemies. This is a were dog. Let's be threatening. The demon's ignoring you. Let's approach it. I send you all to your graves! Okay, that didn't work out very well, but uh Sword Gun, yes. The gun is pretty good actually. So yeah. Kill him. We will probably be able to uh, get one of those were dogs to join us. Hopefully. You wanna fight? Do you? Come on then, entertain me a bit. It's taunting us. Um, accept the challenge. Send you all to your graves. Okay, that didn't work out. Um, but yeah, in my last game, I think the were dog was actually my first demon. So, yeah. Kill them, okay. We murdered them and got a bunch of experience points. So let's put that into vitality again. I'm going to focus on that for the time being. And Yuji leveled up. Let's put that into... Speed, magic. I'm going to put that into magic again. Okay. 240 worth of cash, and we found a spike rod. Okay, I think this thing will be better than our attack knife. Yes, we have more power and more accuracy. Great! Yuji already has a. Uh, Okay, already has a good set of equipment. He has a machete, a beretta, bullets, headgear, survival vest, leather gloves and leather boots. We don't have any armor, but uh, yeah, we will buy some later on, I think. Oh, it's a Preta. Hello, Preta. Let's talk to the demon. We are going to be threatening. Who are you? It's asking your name. Identify yourself. Oh, you are, aren't you? Well then, what is... What is it the great Kazuya wants from me? So apparently the demons know our name. Well, some of them know. Um, let's ask for magnetite. Take this and go away. See? 200 magnetite. So, um... Yeah, that's actually the best way to get this stuff. Let's talk to the were-dog. And be threatening again. I remember trying to run away. Stop it from leaving. Oh, and it left. Oh well. <laughs> And it's a knocker. Let's talk to the knocker. Friendly. I'm gonna send you all to hell. I'm trying to intimidate you. Act unfazed. Kill him. Okay, that... We don't have much luck in the conversations right now. We have to do this by trial and error. Let's see if we can... Find the right way to talk to them. Oh, Zan. Yuji took damage. That was a spell. It was kind of nasty. Not, not too much of a problem. More cash. And we want to build up a whole stock of magnetite. 
Let's talk to the ghost. I think we have to be threatening to him. We shall regret that decision. Um, intimidate. Luck is at an end, yes. Identify ourselves. Okay, so that just made him leave. Okay, enter Preta. Let's try that again. Let's be threatening. Demons ignoring you. Approach it. Oh, now you really done it. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm gonna make you squirm. Oh, it's angry. Let's intimidate it. Help me, I'm too old for this. Uh, intimidate again. You win. What is it you want? I don't think we will be able to get the Preta, actually. So let's try Magnetite again. And another 200 Magnetite. Brilliant. That's great. Okay, let's talk to the Knocker. So that's going to be what we will do for the next... I don't know how long, but uh, yeah. Oh, it's already 20 minutes. Okay, so let's do that and then uh, end the video. You want to fight? Then come on. Intimidate. Send you all to hell. I'm trying to intimidate you. Approach it. Oh, I got nothing to fear. Kill him. Ah, it didn't work out. Well, let's just murder that thing. Ugh. 17 damage. Oh, that wasn't... Ugh. Okay. Sword, gun. Oh, we can heal up soon. Okay, so that has been that. In the next video, we will still walk around a bit here. Um, try to persuade one of these war dogs to join us and level up a bit and become stronger and get some magnetite and cash and all this kind of stuff. So, and then we will walk up to the boss and just punch him in the face. So, yeah, that's fun. So thank you for watching and see you again next time.